Welcome back to another DIY episode of The Simple Farmhouse. I'm Laura, and I can't wait to share some upcoming projects with you. One of them will be this cabinet that I've been working on, as well as some homeschool room updates. So follow me on Instagram for those. The question I've been getting most is about this pendant light. And so I'm gonna take some time to show you how I made it. It's just a few supplies, super easy, but it is very time consuming. So plan on setting up with some Netflix shows to get this one done. It ended up being the perfect pandemic project. I chose crochet thread because it had a silky sheen to it and I wanted this to look a little more upscale. This inspiration picture captures how I want it to feel while still making it a tassel light and not having the gold rings at the top. You could also choose to have a shimmery look to it like this inspiration picture. So pick your thread accordingly. Now if you wanted this to be a plug-in light fixture, you could certainly purchase this kit from Lowe's or Home Depot. You can find it in the lighting department. I am choosing to use this pendant light because it will be hanging over an existing fixture and you can also find this at Lowe's for $19. This lighting chain is also from the lighting department at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. And then these hoops I keep on hand for lots of different craft ideas. They come in different sizes. These were from Michael's. These were just a few dollars a piece. I did spend a few dollars also on each of the chains. The thread ended up being the most expensive part at five or six dollars a roll and I ended up needing six rolls. You will also need two pliers in order to open the chain links. And I also use Gorilla glue sticks. The first thing you're going to want to determine is how far apart do you want the three layers to hang from each other. You could use the inspiration that I shared at the beginning of this video to determine whether or not you want them close or a little bit farther apart. I chose for my aesthetic to place them five chain lengths apart from each other. So I'll need to use the pliers to open up the link and make six different lengths of chain that are five lengths long. I then attach them equidistant around the circle. I used three per layer and I used hot glue. You have to make sure that the metal is clean in order for this to work. I crisscross two strings across the top in order to be able to hang it from a hanger like this while I am working. In the end, I will do something a little more final, but this helps me to figure out balance while I'm working. The tassels are what is going to balance this structure and also help me to secure the chains even further because I will be hot gluing them on either side of the chains. Now, I choose something from around the house that is the perfect length for the tassels I would like to make. Here, it's a lid from a little plastic bin. You could choose a book or something smaller. I just wrap it until I have the thickness I want. Obviously, that depends for you on how thick your string is. Then I pull it off and run a string through the top to knot it. Leave a length for tying it to the chandelier. About three quarters of an inch down, I will tie off the middle to get that tasseled look. Just knot that and leave a length hanging that will blend in. Clip the bottom to get that tasseled look. A fun different take on this might be to use a square wreath frame and to tie off multiple points on the tassel and hang them at different lengths to get this unique chandelier. The tassel making is the most time consuming part, so I would just make extra large batches of them and then come over and have a ton of them to work with. And the way I worked it was to work from either side of a chain. So I'd dab a glue on those two at a back point where you couldn't see, then move to another chain, put a tassel on either side, and put a dab of glue on the back of those. But I only did that for the ones closest to the chains. Working this way also keeps it balanced. It needed a gentle brush and a little bit of a trim to make sure the tassels were even. When it was finished, I added a chain across the top, knowing now where the fixture was balanced, and then I opened that center link in order to run it around the pendant. You can see it 
when I'm standing on the table like I was for that image, but not when you're standing at a normal eye level. I love how when the light is on, it adds a peachy warm glow to the thread that I wasn't expecting. It does not provide a ton of light when the sun is down, but it's direct light down over the table. And then I have added a lamp to the room as well for some more ambient lighting. I think it's a touch romantic and a little bit bohemian and we are loving it. And stay tuned because I've been getting a lot of questions about my latest DIY that I shared over on Instagram. It's this super simple modern farmhouse bed frame. If you have enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell to receive notifications. I would also love to have you follow along over at thesimplefarmhouse.com or find me at the simple farmhouse with periods in between words over on Instagram. Until next time.